20.3 is 18.4 hold oh, damn so uh, my prediction that we were done with kipping handstand push-ups was completely wrong um which dave castro ever proven me wrong which is grand um but anyway guys so first things that, you, that i, I want to cover um when to be here anytime after three o'clock anytime before seven o'clock tonight it's 80s theme bring you bring your glow sticks bring your uh, bring your track suits bring whatever you need um and let's have some fun with it. Shan's got a disco ball on the way all that kind of thing so it's going to be good fun um with regards to the workout itself obviously you can complete it on sunday as well um anytime from 11 30 to 12 30 um i think there's a couple of people going tomorrow but that'll hopefully just be coaches and judges um so tips and tricks how to do the workout what to think about um, obviously the workout being 20.3 20 uh, 20 being 21 deadlifts 21 handstand push-ups 15 15 9 9 then on to heavier deadlifts uh, 21 with a 54 handstand walk um, so let's the workout Look, here's one I prepared earlier oh it's backwards that's not good ah we... oh, well you get the drift um, but anyway guys so um, first things that you need to be aware of is your capacity for each of these movements. Um, know what you like on deadlifts. Um, don't be tearing through. Uh, in fact, nobody should be going unbroken on this. I was going to say don't go unbroken. It's a bad idea um, unless you're really good at them. But they're like the only people going unbroken on this will be Frasers, Thronings, those, those kind of people. Um, everybody else should be conservative um, and don't think of the workout as a Diane because it's not. If you want to get to that heavy bar, you've got to tear through it. You've got to go through it like you're going to get to the heavy bar. You've got to take your time and pace yourself and have a good plan so that when you get to the heavy bar, you can actually pick it up. Um, and it's the same for the handstand walks. If you know you've got the capacity to get to the handstand walks, then do so. Plan for that to be the case. Deconstruct the workout, work backwards and think of it like that. Um, <coughs> Uh, and crush it, uh, enjoy it. Now, um, the one, another thing I want to mention is the handstand push-up standards are nasty. Um, they're pretty tough to get you uh, to, to, to meet. Um, you, a lot of you won't be used to it. Um, and like, um, we genuinely had people walk out of the gym and never come back after this workout last time it was on. Um, so set your expectations before you come in, guys. It's, like, it, it's a tough standard. Don't stress out too much about it. Um, come in and practice it first and foremost get measured up uh, and give it a go um, with regards to getting measured up the way the workout's going to run as you can see we've got uh, I've got five stations out at the minute there will be six um, and we're going to run three people at a time we're going to run three people at a time so that while three people are going the next three people can be being measured up and getting ready to go um, we're going to try and run that pattern all night to keep it nice and smooth and make sure that we're not here all evening. Um, so yeah, uh, final thing with the handstand push-up standard because that's probably the main thing that you've got to be concerned about. Um, get used to as you when you, in your warm-up, get practiced at when you kick into your handstand, bringing your feet together and pointing your heel, pointing your heels up to the ceiling, your toes towards the floor, so that you're not pointing your toes like a pretty gymnast. You're pulling them down. That's the main thing I can think of. To be honest with you guys, there's not that much. Other than that, break things up sensibly, have a plan going into it, um, be smart, it's not Diane, it looks like Diane, it's not, um, break it up, be, be clever, um, and then get to that heavy barbell, um, it's worth all the reps if you get there. Obviously, if you've not got, um, sorry, I should mention scaled options, if you've not got a, a 70 kilogram deadlift, it's nothing to be concerned about, or a 100 kilogram deadlift for the guys, um, the scaled options available. Um, it's, it's again it still comes with the same sort of limitations nothing really changes strategy wise um, my recommendation if you can make it through 721 deadlifts at uh, uh, 70 kilograms give it a go do so um, you'll get a better score long term anyway um, I think that's it guys I think I've covered everything um, have fun send it let's, let's have a good night um, it's a tough workout standards are ruthless um, enjoy peace